I think that not a lot of time is given to the joy of nursing, midwifery and mental health. Um, and the interaction with the patient is where the joy comes from. I believe that most of them are uh, perhaps not staying in the health area because they feel, for the most part, that they can't give the care they want to give. And um, it's the constraints put upon them by the health system. And the health system itself has created burdens. Um, clinical resources, that's the people, the personnel, the professionals, all of them, um, are not valued enough. But I think you stay, and those that stay, is because of the interaction. Uh, the interrelationship with patients is such a rare, rare um, relationship. Uh, patients let you into aspects of their lives um, from their needs, not from yours. And um, it's through that interrelationship that I think we move um, forward with compassion, with empathy, to do the best we can in the circumstances we're faced with. I don't think there's anything like um, being able to provide for somebody something they cannot do for themselves, but for which they need somebody to do for them, like a nurse. And you, you're doing it with them, you're not doing it to them. And uh, the rewards from just that, even if it's a, you know, a mother who's birthing, um, someone who's dying, supporting the family and that person, um, through a, an in, you know, a situation that requires a great deal of courage, um, but to help them through it. I suppose I've been involved in it for 30 years and I'd have to say that um, the rewards have been significant. They've not been monetary. Um, you know, those, the times of joy and of great satisfaction when you've done, you know you've done something well. Um, and being able to share that generally with colleagues. Um, um, it's very hard to explain. There's a great ordinariness to it all, and there's a wonderful book, The Ordinariness of Nursing, which I thought encapsulated um, it all. Um, I can't really explain it, but, um, you know, you can go, you know, if you can go home at the end of a day with that, with that level of satisfaction, you know, it's a great reward. I don't know if you can walk out of a lot of jobs into or out of a lot of work, um, perhaps to know that you'll make a difference and that you have made a difference, um, even if nobody else tells you, um, if you can get that satisfaction for yourself. I don't know. I, I, d I think it's incalculable, you know, the, the rewards, and perhaps we haven't done enough to make sure that the, those following, those at school now, understand the great joy, the privileges, um, the inherent rewards in working as part of a team that's directed at making a difference in someone's life. I think if you like working with people, that's the crucial thing. And look, the relationship is extraordinary that you can develop with patients, just extraordinary. Um, I don't know how else to describe it. I've worked um, in tertiary teaching hospitals in remote area, um, Aboriginal um, communities. I've worked for the, um, in refugee camps. And I'd have to say, regardless of where you work, the rewards are the same, you know. They, they definitely are. You know, you can sleep well at night. I think you've made a contribution. I think it's a societal contribution as well. It's not recognised and it's not perhaps value, you know, but it's there. It's well worth doing.